Hi, welcome to the article Windermere Mountain Store snowshoe review. Today I'm snowshoeing on these MSR Lightning Ascent snowshoes, absolutely perfect for this kind of snow. We're reviewing in Chamonix Mont Blanc in the French Alps, and I'm going to be showing you some of the key advantages for this snowshoe, the kind of terrain that it can go on, and exactly what kind of stuff you can do on them. Let's go and enjoy this amazing powder. And today we're also testing these TSL 325s, one of the most popular snowshoes in the whole of Europe. This is the MSR Lightning Ascent snowshoe. As far as the features of it, um, if we start off from the underneath, we see on the front of the uh, toes we have uh, crampon points, um, the sides rigid metal frame with a lot of, sort of traction points and traversing underneath. We've got three neoprene deck sections that give you good flotation in snow. This snowshoe here um, is ideal for people up to about 80-90 80, 80, kilos um, in fairly soft snow. As far as the other features, this is the, um, the foot section. Um, we've got heel raisers that will fit underneath the snowshoe, so when you're going up a steep slope, the foot will rest on the razor and take the pressure off the calf and move it onto, the, uh, onto your quads, using the strongest, strongest muscle group in your legs. Um, and the buckles literally fit over the, over the front of your boot when you're fitting them. One size fits all. Um, there's no extension bars on this snowshoe. It's a very versatile, amazingly strong snowshoe. You can't distort the frame at all. It can take a lot of abuse and it's very, very good, as much for powdery snow as it is on icy slopes and traverses. Snowshoes are super easy to put in. Literally put your foot onto the base unit, adjust the back, and then the surface straps go over the top of your boot comfortably tight over the top of your shoe. You've got three straps on the lightning ascent, one on the front, one in the middle, and one up towards the, the front of your shoe, and then you're ready to go. So we're on a section of the trail where it's getting a little bit steeper. My calves are getting tired because my feet are going flat straight up the slope. So this would be a perfect time to engage the heel raisers down here on the snowshoe. A handy little hint is to invert your ski pole so you've got the handle pointing down just to lift the heel raisers like this with the cusp of the handle and so it's underneath your foot. This way the pressure is no longer on my calf and it's just on my quads and I'm ready to go. short steeper descents like this little icy part I'm very glad of the crampon points underneath these lightning ascents it's these parallel bars that are giving me good traction and friction stopping me slide on my way down so this kind of powder snow is absolutely perfect for the lightning ascents it's giving me enough flotation on this bottomless powder without the snowshoes I'd be over waist deep So we're at the end of our trail, I want to take the snowshoes off, these have got a quick release system. I just pull, release and it unbuckles, so I can be out of them in seconds if I need a quick release. It's as simple as that and I just pull my shoes out of the front and I'm off and away and back to the car. TSL 325 snowshoe. As far as our technical features on it, we have an hourglass frame on it. So it's very, very good for more complicated terrain. So you're not actually standing one snowshoe on each other. Beveled edges ensure that you're not able to stand um, on top and trip each other up. Um, the snowshoe's got a fairly good uh, crampon system on the front um, and a lot of crampon spikes underneath, as well as the actual so structured frame to give you good grip on icy surfaces. Um, as well as the um, hard um, foot section and footbed, um, we've got heel raisers underneath that can just be rotated up and underneath your, your foot um, so that it gives you a little bit of a heel raise when going up steeper slopes, takes the pressure off the quads or on the quads and off the calf muscles. It can be laid flat when descending again and in normal use the heel is completely free so you're in effectively telemark walking style um, and free on the snowshoe.
the TSL 325 to change the foot size we lift a little lever here turn it through 90 degrees and the heel tracking goes up and down so you can pick your pick your shoe size turn the little lever and lay it flat the buckles are on the outside so the buckle here and the buckle here means this is a right hand snowshoe I put the toe in and tighten the buckle nice and snug the buckle goes round my ankle it's clipped push the little lever back and the heel's free, I'm ready to go. Channel 325, I can use my ski pole to lift up the metal section at the back, flick it underneath and that's me ready to go. When I want to flip it down, it's even easier. Just flick it backwards and down I go. So here I'm coming onto a steeper slope, getting up to about 40 degrees. If I go on my tiptoes, these crampon points are just biting into the snow and give me excellent crampon traction. This is one of the strong points of the TSL 325s. On a more icy traverse, they give excellent stability and I'm sliding nowhere. When it comes to descent, the hourglass shape means that the back of the snowshoe is narrower than at the ball of the foot. And so I can get my heels slightly close together so I stamp in and descend easily without sliding. So I'm in the, on the TSLs now in deep, deep powder. It's a little bit harder going than with the MSRs, but they still give me enough flotation to get through. One word of warning for the 325s, they've got a little heel spur on, so if you to walk backwards, they catch! I've been snowshoe guiding for nearly a decade now, and these are my favourite two pairs of snowshoes. It's why we selected them for our mountain store. Just to give you a quick summary of the key points for the snowshoes, the Lightning Ascent is the most technical snowshoe we stock. The crampon points, the stiff frame, um, and the super sort of technical binding system keeping your foot in place are great for sort of more technical snowshoeing or powder days. The TSL 325s offer the nice beveled edges, very, very good for icy traverses or when it's a slightly thinner snowpack and you're a lot less likely to trip yourself up. Out of the two, both are suitable for European snowpacks. The MSR may be as much for North American snowpacks as Europe, um, and this one is absolutely a favourite for the European Alps.